Hello, this is Dave from Life 110. Uh, this is a short video about how to fit the new shift paddles to the A110. So, what you'll need for this is a T20 Torx bit, a small flat screwdriver, and a pair of long nose pliers, and of course the new paddles ready to go in. Now the first thing to do is to take the plastic instrument cowl off of the steering column. And to start with, there are two Torx bits, if I shine the torch, in those two holes there. So they are two T20 Torx. So step one is to remove both of those. So with the Torx bits removed, the column can now just be popped off. So if you pull on that side and on here, the top section literally just unclips and pulls away. The next section is to unclip the cover from the lower section at both sides and then retrieve the small piece of surround on the column controls here so that we don't use that part. And then the lower section can just be unclipped downwards around there. And again, that bit's now off as well. And that exposes all of the steering column and what you need to be able to do the switches. So here I like to put the ignition on, just so we can turn the wheel to expose the positive shift first. Now all it is, is a pin in here with a plastic cover. So the first step is and the pin on the positive shifter, the up shifter, comes up from the top. So, if you simply prise off the cover, you'll see the pin there. So, at the bottom, you can put the screwdriver in and begin to push the pin out. Take your long nose pliers, and simply pull the pin out. And with the shifter now loose, it can simply be withdrawn. And this is the only fiddly bit. So there we have it. That is the original shifter removed from the car. So if we compare that to the new shifter, It's simply a reverse of the install. The only thing I would say is I've found the anodizing has made the holes a little snug. So to correct that, simply take the, if I can hold the camera, just get the pin from the car and make sure it can go through the hole. If it is a little tight, just use the long nose pliers to push that in and make sure it turns before fitting on the car. So now the refit, simply push the lever in the original switch, like so. Take the pin and push it through all the way to the bottom. Use a long nose pliers to make sure it goes home. And then clip back over. 
and that's it the right hand shifter is installed so all we now to do is turn the wheel to the left hand shifter and do the same so the only difference with the left hand shifter is the pin pulls out from the bottom so you unclip on the lower side and push the pin out from the top take your long nose pliers and pull the pin out from the bottom and the paddle can be pulled out and then we have the original left paddle as well And now to probably the most fiddly part, which is installing the left hand shifter. So hold open the cover to push the shifter in place. Take your pin and push up from the bottom into place. And then simply clip it back over. And there we are, left shifter installed ignition back on put the wheel straight so now it's just a case of checking both shifters installed no problem and the cover can go back on so put the lower cover back on first in at the back it clips clips up into place You simply clip in the surround at the top next we need to ensure the radio control is put in place that last job is to clip in place the top cover which just clips on both sides which I'll need two hands to do Hope you can have that clip into place. So that's the cover on. And all that's left to do is the two torques underneath. So there we have it, new shifters all installed. So you can see how much longer the paddle is, how much more access you get to shifting, especially in this section in front of the radio controls. Plenty of room behind the wheel, but the flat back and the ridge means that your fingers can wrap around the paddle and you just get a much more kind of positive feel and it's just so much more natural to use so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoy using your new paddle shifters